So good evening everyone. Today we have with us Dr. Nehalan from Coimbatore Medical College and Radio Plexus, a reserve batch student of 2024, who secured All India Rank 85 in the recently conducted IMS 8 November 2024. Hearty congratulations Nehalan to you, your parents and all your family members. Thanks a lot sir. Good evening sir. How are you doing sir? All, all, all fine Nehalan. Very happy for you. And Thanks a lot sir. So what is your first what are your first feelings when you saw the rank? Sir, I was expecting a rank of around 300 to 500 considering the inflation happened in it. So once it was 85, I didn't believe, I thought, I, so probably like everybody is telling, I thought the wrong number and I just typed again, it was 85. So I was very elated, sir. No, I had no words to describe the feeling. I didn't expect such a good rank. Sir. Uh -oh. Fantastic. It's always uh, the results speak. For the actions, the consistent efforts, the results speak like this. Uh, Nihilan, there might be many factors which might have contributed to your success. But if I ask you to pick the three most important factors, which one you pick up? Sir, I think the first factor which, uh, like, uh, we should avoid doing silly mistakes in exams, sir. Like every paper has 160 easy questions. I think if we capitalize 140 to 145 easy questions in that, we will be able to secure a great rank. Like we tend to overthink and do silly mistakes in exams. Uh, so that is the main thing. And uh, I think question solving is more important than uh, reading the content. Like application of content is uh, more important than just reading the content. Absolutely. And uh, I think... Uh, Consistency is more important, sir. Like daily seven hours, uh, uh, like seven to eight hours of daily read is better than doing uh, 13 hours for three days and uh, four hours for three days. So I think uh, so, the consistency is. Oh, fantastic. So in your, uh, the three most important factors you told is one, avoiding silly mistakes, second, being consistent, and third, doing more and more MCQs. So yes, I'll, I'll ask a little bit more about each of these things. When you okay. say like, uh, Avoiding silly mistakes, how you took care of that and like what are your strategies so that like you minimize those silly mistakes and what are the things you took care of? Sir, uh, like uh, uh, in an exam, like you said, we expect the questions to be twisted. And uh, for an easy question, we think like they won't be asking such level of easy questions and tend to mark the other answer. I think uh, around 50 questions will be direct. Only 10 questions will be crooked questions. So if we... Like, if we think every question is direct and marked, we'll get some, we'll reduce silly mistakes. If you tend to overthink, then that's it. Even in this exam, I did a lot of silly mistakes. I think we should uh, not overthink. We should uh, uh, think like uh, in the exam, uh, in the minds of the examiner and uh, we should uh, not overthink, sir. Okay. That's it. The question which is straight, you should attempt straight and not overthink. Why yes, sir. Do not question overthink. or something like that. Very good. Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. Uh, Neil, and when you mentioned about uh, application of the knowledge, which is very important rather than just yes, reading the content, doing more and more MCQs. And on average, yes, Neil, how many questions you use it to attempt every single day? Um, and on average? Average, uh, like uh, one GT per week is mandatory according to me. Other than that, Illicit, uh, I think Illicit has a separate strategy for preparation, a slight uh, separate strategy when compared to Neat PD, sir. So for any set PVQs and PVTs, as everybody tell our gold standard. So daily minimum uh, 100 PVQs, uh, according to me, uh, if you do it consistently and get the 80 plus every time, I think uh, it will be, uh, uh, you will see the results well, sir. Uh, at least 100 PVQs when it comes to uh, any set or any, uh, even if it is not any set PVQ, like 100 questions, uh, if you do consistently per day, then it will be suffice. Very nice. So 100 MCQs you attempt every day and like out of them, like um, depending on the paper difficulty, you might get few correct, few of them wrong. And for the questions which you made wrong, how you ensured that you consolidated those mistakes? Sir, I created a separate uh, folder for all the PVQs and whatever question I did wrong or uh, uh, I didn't know, I used to write it, uh, the PVQ, I, I used to write it uh, in my tablet or this thing and along with it, uh, important topics, important facts related to the topic. So last 10 days, I was able to read all the mistakes which I was doing and all the mistake related facts also. Sir. So uh, in this initial, around 30 to 40 questions were direct PVQs. So it was easy for me to answer them. Sir. 
So very happy to learn that, which we keep saying in the class, learn from mistakes is one of the most important things for your success and like it helped. Fantastic, Nihila. And third, when you went, mentioned about consistency and uh, you reading for seven to eight hours. So what is your usual schedule on the day of class, how you use to prepare and on the days when classes are not there, how you use it to prepare? What is your schedule? Sir, uh, uh, like uh, initially after internship, it was uh, difficult to study, sir, as everybody tell, even six hours was uh, difficult, sir. So uh, after that, I planned uh, during classes, uh, uh, since we have the leaderboard next morning, obviously, if I don't come 10 in the leaderboard, uh, I'll be feeling guilty of, uh, like, I, I'm usually a competitive person, sir. So even if I don't come in top 10, I'll be feeling of feeling guilty. So for that itself, I have to sit and study night. So uh, I'll be studying there. So if I don't have the classes, uh, morning before lunch, I will be trying to study at least four hours, sir. Then when, whenever I feel low, I will, uh, uh do... P, P, uh, question marks and uh, previous year questions, sir. And night one hour mandatory BVQ. So my uh, eight to nine hours of study will be like seven, six to seven hours of content and two hours of question solving and analyzing the questions. Sir. Analyzing and learning from those mistakes. Yes, sir. So fantastic, Neil. So in this journey, what is the role of ADO Plexus in your success? Sir, like... Uh, people tend to do uh, online and they sit uh, and study in the home, uh, but I think they won't have the motivation like attending an offline class. Uh, before uh, like before uh, coming to ADR classes, uh, I didn't have that much competitiveness in me. Once I come to ADR classes and see the leaderboard and all in subject-wise tests, I was regularly doing subject-wise tests. Whenever I don't come in the top 10, like I'll be feeling guilty and I'll try to study. Uh, in online classes, this will definitely not be there. Only if you are very 100% disciplined, you can do like that. But uh, coming to ADR and uh, uh, doing, uh, it, incre it increased my competitiveness level, sir. And uh, I think the only app where I can contact faculty directly is ADR, sir. Vimal, sir, and all, I will be asking doubts, like daily I will be asking doubts, pathology. He will be solving. Even before, two days before he said, I will be asking like uh, many things. He will be, he will not. You will at least give a 15 line explanation. This I cannot expect in any other option. Yeah, he is one of the most patient faculties and like very student friendly faculties. Yes, yes. Um, Neil, when you mentioned about uh, the the leaderboards, leaderboards is something like as you mentioned, like being in top 10 and all, being competitive and being in the zone. Like when you are competing on a real time with your peers, trying to be on the top zone, always keep you out of the comfort zone and like keep tries to give you a best every single day. That is what we yes, ensure sir. the leaderboards is done. And what is the role of workbooks in your success? Workbooks, I think. Uh... Uh, like nowadays people tell only we should do revision notes and uh, this thing other main notes are undoable but i think adr workbooks are really doable sir. uh like they are concise they are up to the point and uh, i think you can revise uh, it multiple times like uh, uh we, people find it difficult to revise the workbooks but adr workbooks are like so concise that we can revise it even uh, two times even by november i was able to Revise uh, surgery workbooks and all were big, but I was able to revise it at least two times. Uh, uh, if I have gone to some other platforms, I won't be able to do this. Uh, even uh, once uh, would be big, uh, a big achievement if some other platforms. ADR workbooks are really doable. Sir. Fantastic, like, Nihil. The content is also high yield. Fantastic, Neil. And we are happy that like uh, the workbooks helped you. And when you mentioned about the faculties and the way how they are approachable, Nimal, sir, how did you feel about ADR Plexus mentorship program and the faculty being in touch with you regularly, clearing the doubts and all? Uh, like, I think it really helped a lot, sir. Uh, like, Vimal, sir, was my mentor. And uh, he, was re re he was in touch with me. He used to ask me, like that 8 a.m. questions are really worth, sir. Like we used to compete daily, come and uh, come to online at 8 a.m. and see the questions are also standards, sir. Unlike they are not straight liners, one liners. So that we used to think the questions are really very good, like he missed that level questions. And Vimal, sir, was a really good mentor for me, sir. He used to uh, check me uh, what I was reading. He used to clear all my doubts. Since now, even in class, if I ask him anything, he will, uh, night he will come and text me, then only he will sleep. He was such a great mentor, sir. Fantastic, Dylan. Very good to know that. And, uh, and Elon, another important thing. 
for the students like for your colleagues who are preparing for the examination and the juniors who are going to uh, attempt the future what is your piece of advice to get a very good rank and which are the tips that help them in their preparation uh, like uh, as everybody in revision is the key sir it doesn't matter uh, how much you read through their last one month if you are able to cover your contents uh, that is the key so i will advise everybody to uh, concise their content during their first three lectures uh, as uh, so i will advise them to uh, sir shall we record this hello yeah, yeah you can repeat yes uh, okay sir okay sir okay uh, for them what my advice will be like uh, during their first read itself i will tell them to concise everything for me like anesthesia i had only 10 sides to do in the last i was able to write the workbook contents into 10 sides sir that's it only that is doable i think for a short subject like anesthesia derm and all even 6 to 10 sides is the adequate for surgery you can go to 30 sides if you do this uh, and revise it like three to four times then you surely it will be high yield and uh, this thing sir rather than revising the work twice if you concise it even in your first read and uh, do this uh, you will be going constantly to the exam like i have covered a substantial amount of uh, syllabus and you will go and avoiding silly mistakes is i think the most important things sir so fantastic glen thanks for sharing and uh... yes, when you share your rank to your parents what is their first reaction uh, they were also amazed sir. they didn't expect this thing and i told them like if i get less than 500 i'll get some course in aims and i will do because neat i got around 4k and uh, i don't think i'll get my dream branch in neat so i thought uh, they told okay 500 is okay then uh, suddenly by seeing 85 they, they were also amazed sir. they didn't expect i didn't expect everything everybody was uh, shocked to see the results sir fantastic vikram and what is um, which specialty you want to choose and uh, which college you want to join if i right i like general medicine sir so most probably i'll be choosing general medicine in the uh, delhi or pg chandigarh if i get sir Oh, fantastic nihil and all the very best for that once again hearty congratulations to you your parents and family members enjoy the moments Spend the time and um, mentor your juniors. That's all for more. Thanks a lot, sir. We are very happy that Area Plexus played a, a key role in your success, and we are happy. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Yeah, all the very best, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye.